so since you have you know Anwar Ibrahim inside out, right? So what's going to happen? Is he going to be the Prime Minister finally? <laughs> I think now the Fed is again left it to Member of Parliament that has been elected. So now, for me, uh, we have to understand why people voted for PH overwhelmingly. Um, people say, okay, because they want Anwar to be Prime Minister, which is true. Uh, on the other hand, we see why there's such a big string swing against Barisan National, right? Yeah. Uh, it means that the opposition bloc, either from PM bloc or the PH bloc, has uh, presented themselves to be the crusader against right. uh, the, Barisan. the corruption and right. the whole manipulation that has been done by the Makama cluster. Right. Uh, court cluster. So the hatred was very strong, right? So it's so much so that there was a big swing that people want an alternative government, a government which is free from this group of people, Barisan National, right? So that's why I say when both blocs received their mandate with almost equal numbers of um, votes, uh, equal numbers of uh, percentage seats. of vote as well percentage, as yeah. the seats. The yeah. seats. So uh, we can't be going into the discussion purely on a mathematical formula like, oh, we want to reach right. 112, right? 112 on what basis? 112 must be on the value that we presented to, to, the, vo uh, to the voters. And the meaning of anti-hopping law must be not on paper, you cannot change party. But the people voted for us, for PH, against corruption, against Barisan National. Right? People voted for PN, it's also against Barisan National, Correct. against Zahid Hamidi's uh, corruption. Exactly. Now, both blocs are trying to court Barisan National to be part of them. Exactly. To me, that is a betrayal of the of people's the trust. Right. Yeah. Of course, people come to justify to say that if you are non-Muslim, you want a moderate Malaysia, therefore, Amno is a better choice. Right. Uh, when you are Muslim, you also say, oh, okay, we'd rather to have uh, a Muslim uh, brothers to be in the government than have DAP and um, uh, right. Anwar Ibrahim in the government. Right. I think these are lame excuses, right? <laughs> no, if this is the issues, then don't bring it out to say that we are firmly against the corruption. Exactly. So these are lame. For me, right. if you ask me, I think the, the people, uh, starting from civil societies, people who have voted, must call for a reconciliation of PH and PN and who they want to be Prime Minister actually is, I, I think, uh, each of them have their preferences. Right, you know, right. They should discuss it out. But the issues they should discuss is not just about who to be Prime Minister. Right. The two blocs has to sit together and work out what type of reforms they want to bring. What type of uh, common agreement and common agenda they can bring. Which I think uh, can be done. Right? Fine find commonality among the two different blocks. Why, right. why do I argue for that? Because somehow this nation has to reconcile. We yes. cannot have a PH government where you have PN and pass outside and say, oh, this right. is all anti-Muslim. Right. Right. Everything they yeah, do yeah, yeah, are yeah. trying to undermine yeah. Malay. We can also cannot have a Malay-dominated government by pass and then the non-Malay keep singing to say this is a Taliban state. Yeah, yeah. This is not going to <laughs> include our thing. So, I mean, for how long we want to be con continue right. to be hostile, right? right? The leaders of both blocs, I urge them to take out their courage to also to put aside these sort of prejudices to come together to build the nation. Right. Instead of trying to deal with the kleptocrat now, Dealing yeah. with the Barisan National that have been rejected by the people right, right to form yeah. government. I think that exactly. is not the, the way sh we should go. Yeah, why be what you said is very statesman statesman like because I haven't heard anyone publicly calling for 
even the civil society folks that you were mentioning, they have been sort of preparing the ground for a PHBN and trying to justify it the way you did. But what you said, no, Malaysia is multiracial now. It's so divided. You have to recon reconcile somehow, right? So, yeah. But that isn't yeah. happening. And and BN basically that was a a rejection of Zahid. And now he's sort of the kingmaker. He's going to decide who become. Yeah. Uh, the, yeah. That's and right. That's a that's a very strange situation, uh, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I think that is uh, that is going against the vote that we have casted, right? Of course, you can create fear among the Malay that, okay, it's going to be Anwar Ibrahim and then all of us are going to be un-Islamic. Therefore, right. it's better to have Zahid than to have Anwar Ibrahim. <laughs> right. Among the non-Malay, we can also play out the issues about you're going to have a Taliban situation, you know, uh, conservatism is going to be dominant. Therefore, we'd rather have a moderate Amno. Um, yeah, I mean, for whatever we say, we shouldn't allow I'm not to be a king maker, right. as as they were clearly rejected by the people. 